So um, we're going to be doing a tune shader in uh, Arnold um, AI tune and then making it look like it's cell shaded with like a special ramp node. Um, it's going to make it look like instead of having like um, the light fade into the dark, it's just going to be like light, dark, very clear um, outlines, kind of like a cartoony look to it and have like an edge on it. I'll show you how to get the contour filter on the camera so you can see the edge around the tune shader. So what you're gonna wanna do is just, um, I made this just as an example of how it works. Um, you're gonna wanna set up like the whole Arnold Sky Dome and everything. Arnold uh, lights, go to Sky Dome light. And then I have my render view open here, um, just so I can see what's going on. And um, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but my Mac sounds like a helicopter about to take off because it's like, oh my God, this is so much um, stuff that I have to compute. Oh no. So you're gonna wanna go to the uh, attribute editor um, for the Sky Dome. And sky domes are usually set super bright. So you're gonna to wanna to give it a 0 0.1 just as like a base light. So it's not absolutely dark in the background. I'm gonna create another light, which is gonna be an area light. And this kind of light, um, as you can see, like it, it like uh, barely lights it up because I haven't really turned up the settings too much. So I'm going to back that away a bit and um, then I'm going to give it some actual light. So I'm going to put the exposure, exposure up to 10 and the intensity up to 100. See what that looks like. Oh, way too much. Uh, I forget my lighting stuff. Maybe I'll put my exposure down to five. Just back that away a little bit. Really close for a light. Yeah, well, I forgot to put the uh, shader on here. Let me do that real quick. So let me just assign new material, shader, AI tune. So that is looking like that right now. So yeah, I am going to want to adjust the light a bit. I think I put the intensity up way too high yeah honestly i think that's looking good right now so i'm gonna go into the material attributes of this thing um make sure this edge part is checked on um requires contour filter that's going to be something we're going to do in the camera settings so if i create a camera I'll just go to panels perspective camera one back away a little bit so I can see what I'm doing um, and then change this to camera shape one. You can see what's going on here. So if I go to render settings and I go to Arnold Renderer, um, let me find this, it's in here. Okay, yeah. So there are filters in the Arnold render settings. So we're gonna go to that. And right now it's on Gaussian. We're gonna change that to contour. So now we have this nice outline on here. So it um, all depends on the resolution of your camera. So right now my camera is at like a really low resolution. That's just so that I can work faster and see it in the render view faster because the higher these settings are, the more time it's gonna take for this guy to show up every time I make a change. And if you're working kind of quickly with like different colors and stuff, it doesn't really matter if it's all pixelated. Um, you can just change that when you're doing the final movie. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the material attributes for this. And what I'm going to do is change the base color, like a pink. I'm gonna put the weight all the way up. And it's looking like that right now. So we don't want that like fade from like light pink to dark pink because that isn't really like a tune look. So what you gotta do 
go to tone map and then hit that checker box thing. That's what I did. And then I um, go to ramp. And then the fun thing about this is if you move these guys really close together, we're not even gonna get like a ramp. If you move that one over top of the other, you see this box right here, that is determining like how sharp the line is gonna be. So if I move that over there, not as sharp, move that right there, super sharp. So um, right now we have this as the shadow part. So um, probably gonna wanna change Oops, leave that. Okay, I guess that box deletes it. Um, so if I click on this circle here, um, I have my selected color here. Um, and then, so I have this color that's the base color. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm probably gonna wanna give it just like a darker hue in here. But if I really wanted to be fancy, I could kind of make it a little more purpley um, because shadows tend to be more like blue hued than um, like the light part. So this is what I have going for me right now. I think that looks pretty cool, um, but let me show you a couple more things that we can do with it. Um, so just playing with the ramp shader, you can move this over here to make the shadow a lot smaller. Um, move that over here, make the shadow really big. Um, so that's kind of the look that we're going for. And it responds to the light, which is super cool. Um, so if I were to move this this way, the shader would automatically calculate where the light is. And then we get that really cool light moving effect. So that is pretty fun. Um, another thing that is interesting is <laughs> the further away I get from the object, the outline stays the same thickness. Now I have not yet figured out how to change that so that things far away don't turn like completely black. <laughs> so um, I have to uh, keep working on that, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I think one more thing that I can show you is, um, oh, sorry, let me go to the material attributes, not assign new material, um, is you can do the, um, the width of the edge. Yeah, if we wanna change like the size of all of the outlines, um, we'll go to our render settings. On all the under. And then there's like a width. So if I change that width to four, it's a lot thicker. Um, I think for this project that we are doing, cool. so we open up Maya again and pray that Arnold is still there because I had to re download Arnold and go into the plugin manager and find it. So Really hoping that it's still in here. Oh my god, it's not. How wonderful. I love it. Um plugin manager. Brown system applications. Oh yes, Arnold MTOA 2018. Logins and TOA bundle close. Now I have Arnold. Hooray! <laughs> it's just bullshit. So I'm gonna open the Arnold render view. So this is where we left off. We have this absolutely gorgeous shape. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to material attributes, make sure that this is a thing. So I'm gonna call it test team. Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna wanna do for the characters is name like a 
sailor underscore cat, something like that. Um, just so that we know where it goes for all the scenes. So I'll have the character or have the model name underscore and then, or yeah, like what part of the model it's on. And then I guess you don't really have to have the word shader in because it'll be in the hyper shade menu. So it will be fine the way it is. Um, excuse me. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a square because I don't feel like moving a freaking sphere. Assign existing material. Test tune shader. Here we go. Look at that, baby. So we have this gorgeous, gorgeous shape right here. Okay. So now that I have this assigned as a um, square, I'm going to show you um, how I can get it so that um, this tone map that we made works over top of a file that can have like a pattern on it. So if we go to the color, and we go to the checker box, go to file, and we add a file. Um, I'm gonna go with stripes texture, open, and then check that out. So as you can see, the dark part has kind of like a multiply layer that is from the tune thing. So it's like one of those multiply layers in Photoshop but that's the ramp node thing that's on the tone map. So yeah, that is how we're gonna do anything that has like a texture that we can draw in Photoshop and UV and all of that and just draw over the UVs and put it on the bottom, you know, that whole thing. So I think that this method is gonna work out for all the models. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, I mean, as long as everything's UV, and then you go over the um, the whole process for the tone map, I think it's called. I always forget what everything's called. I just know with where it is in the this thingy. So yeah, the tone map is really the one thing that needs to be edited, as well as like the contour filter on the camera in the render settings. So those are like the two new things besides literally just assigning the shader and then going base color. Oh, I want it to be this thing, this file or this color, if it's just a flat thing. And then the tone map, which is pretty fun. Um, yeah, you wanna keep the light part as white because that means like there's nothing there. It's just the original base color. It's like, it's clear or something. And then this represents like the multiply layer kind of thing that's on it. So yeah, that is how you do uh, the tune shaders. So yeah, that's my little tutorial. <laughs>